from the Royal on Choice Radio. Uh, yes, it is, and it's time for the live acoustic session. Michael Knowles. Is it Mike? Michael? What do what I call you? You can call me Mike if you want. That's yeah. cool. Were you doing a, a bit of a version there of the Kim Lowens one? I, I quite enjoyed that bit. <laughs> Yeah, I tend to do that. If I'm listening to music, I tend to just jam along with it, yeah. just in case I can make up something that's funny and yeah. try and make it more fun. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Thanks for standing in at the last minute, man. I know. I just like to do this kind of thing. Yeah. So we're looking forward to this one. Good guess. So, come far tonight? Ah, oh, just from Lebury. Yeah. To be fair. It's yeah. Just a train ride over, so yeah. it's not really... I didn't have to pay either, so that's one bit the best thing to do. Really? Yeah, right. Okay. Got, got structure for that, but okay. don't want to tell people in case everyone takes it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is it about you, Led Breed guys? Jack Raven did the same thing. Well, you know, it's yeah. just, they never really care if you're coming out of Led Breed. It's just yeah. like, I think they're happy that to let people just get out of that town because it's yeah. not really a place you want to stay. Yeah. It's like Coldwell as well, yeah. Morgan, which is, yeah. well, actually Morgan's quite all right. Yeah. But, yeah. So you were you were on that map fest at the weekend. I was actually. What was that like for you? Um, it was because um, I went on the Saturday just to check out the venue. Obviously, yeah, I did. Because um, I went because my granddad used to take me up to the uh, Conservative Club when it was the Conservative Club, just to make right. sure I knew I was playing. Because yeah. I've been lost a few times and towards <laughs> gigs and stuff. Yeah. And it was pretty packed, and I was really looking forward to it. And then on Sunday it was a little bit mellow, but yes, pretty good. Cool. Managed to clear the room of all the children in the room. <laughs> a lot of disappointed parents leaving with that look in her eyes, just like naughty, naughty, and just like what? really. Why was this? The well, I've got a, I've got a knack for not playing child friendly, which uh, su well doesn't surprise most people who book me because yeah. obviously they've seen me at the yeah. tap, they've yeah. seen me at the Mars bar. They know I'm not exactly you know yeah. going to play Barney the dinosaur or anything yeah. like that. And uh, yeah, it kind of got a little bit weird. <laughs> so they. Uh, <laughs> And Were just, they looking disgusted at you as they walked out? Well, they did send their four-year-old daughter to say that my mother should. My mother told me I should feel sorry for you, which was probably the youngest person to heckle me in the two years I've been playing guitar for, which was pretty all right, actually, I've got to say. Yeah, this is a defining moment of my career so far. <laughs> we put that quote on, on your CD when it comes out. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I'm gonna, you know, I need to find that girl's name so I can just quote her properly. So when she gets older and if she's a fan, she can be like, I'm sorry for what I said. And like, <laughs> you're on the album, you're famous. Yeah, Come on. exactly. Okay, so you're going to start with what? What are we going to do? Um, I'm going to start off with something funny because cool. that's what I do. And yeah. uh, it's an old song I wrote, which is, well, one of the first songs I wrote. It was a jam mm -hmm. when I was at a friend's house. And it's called Friend in My Pocket. There's no swearing in it. Well, there is life, but. Today I'm just not going to swear at all because he's going to behave himself. I'm going to behave myself, which will shock a lot of people that have booked me. <laughs> so yeah, this this song's called "A Friend in My Pocket." Am I right again? Yep. Cool. 